Hello and welcome to the Low and Mopar YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at this. The DRB2 scan tool for Chrysler vehicles. I wanted to be able to get codes out of the computer system for the transmission. My DRB2 unfortunately only came with the CCD bus connector, which you see here. So I'm going to have to get an SCI connector to connect to the underhood diagnostics connector for the engine computer. So here's how this works for the transmission system. Under the dashboard, you will find the diagnostics connector. This is a blue connector that you see here with six pins on it, only four of which are used. I'm going to connect the diagnostics connector to the uh, pl uh, plug to this connector. So this just goes in like so. And have the DRB2 will boot up. And my DRB2 did come with the 94 super cartridge, so it will t test uh, any vehicle from 1983 to 1994. So to test the transmission, we're going to scroll down and select system. Then we're going to select transmission. It's going to ask us which transmission. The A604 is also known as the 41TE. So we are going to select that. And it's going to test the bus. And it's going to initialize the transmission computer. I recently put the latest version of the transmission computer in this car. So we can test, we can run system tests, we can read uh, device trouble codes. We can read display, state displays, run actuator chess, adjustments such as resetting the memory on it. I should not have any trouble codes right now. No, nope, no trouble codes. The ATM button down here goes back. If I go to system tests and say maybe I want to test the clutch packs. We can select test two and can say, okay, I want to try first gear. Well, the engine is currently off, so that isn't going to do much. So what I'll do is I will start the engine. All right. Now the now it is operating temperature, so now I can just put it into overdrive. And we have no slippage, which is good. Okay. We can take second gear. Now we're in second, same story there. Go back, try third gear. Same story with that, go back, try reverse, new shift to reverse. There we go, back out of there. We can also read the current state displays. We can look at sensors. We can look at inputs and outputs. We got monitors. We can also look at custom displays. So if we look at sensors, this shows us the throttle position, minimum throttle position, T1, T3, A21, J2, battery voltage, current transmission temperature, if we go back, we can also look at the inputs and outputs. So this shows us the solenoids, what the last shift was, what gear we're currently in, what gear it's attempting to apply, where the lever is, whether overdrive is currently allowed or not. If I look at my custom displays, if I view this one, we get 
front throttle position, engine RPM, current gear, and the temperature of the transmission. If I go back, it'll be the second one. I've got engine RPM, last shift, applying gear, and what gear it's currently in. All very interesting information. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't. Please subscribe and remember to ring that bell if you want to see more videos like this when they come out.